Hello everybody, this is the Goofsome Fox coming at you with a match here in the buffed Banshee, which was buffed as part of the September 2024 unit adjustments. And I do only have one match here since uh, the buff list for the Banshee really isn't too big, but it is something that I did want to um, cover here. And the Banshee is a suit that I made a video on quite recently when it got added to the Recycle Ticket store. That's when I got this suit and really started using it. And uh, since then, it's been one of my go-to 700 raids. So I uh, really kind of felt appropriate to uh, do a video on the buffs here. Also, this is the only raid that has been buffed during these unit adjustments. So uh, another little thing that I found interesting there, but... Um, yeah, we're gonna go into the, uh, buffs for the Banshee here, and the Banshee is a 4-star mobile suit, it is a raid at 700, and starting off with our mobile suit specs here, the unit HP was increased from 24,000 to 25,500, and then the unit skill special leg buffer level 2 was adjusted to level 3. Uh, moving to the ranged main weapon, the Armed Armor BS. The cooldown time was shortened from 3 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Overheat was shortened from 13 seconds to 10 seconds. And hit detection has been expanded and is now easier to hit the target. So, uh, nice little changes for the main primary there. And hey, you're gonna get a counter on that uh, violent custom there, but... Uh, moving to our next weapon, the Banshee Arm Beam Saber. Only thing this got is that the weapon switching time has been shortened, but given that the Banshee is a pretty melee-oriented uh, mobile suit, you know, even the small changes like that are pretty much welcome to have. Uh, next we have the sub weapon, the Armed Armor BS Discharge, where the power was increased from 800 to 1000, and the rigidity time after using the weapon is shortened, so... That is going to be for your instant Jurobi Beam, which is a really cool weapon for the Banshee, and just really, again, something that's nice to see these smaller changes apply to. And then we do have the Banshee in its transform state, that being when you have NTD activated. And again, we do have the unit HP that was increased from 24,000 to 25,500, which is really good for the Banshee, because when you're in NTD, um, you're constantly losing health. And unlike the other Unicorn variations, the basic Banshee um, does not have um, Awaken, so you're going to be constantly using that H you're going to be losing that HP the whole time. So having a little extra is always nice to have. But the other thing that changed here is that the uh, Leg Buffer skill, which went from level two to level three on the regular form, um, on the NTD form, it goes from level 3 to level 4, so, um, yeah, even higher special leg buffer. And then the sub-weapon, the Armed Armor VN Deployed, that's gonna be your big claw there. The cooldown time was shortened from 3.5 seconds to 3 seconds, so, um, yeah, that's everything we have here for the Banshee buffs, and... Um, yeah, you know, from playing the suit, the few matches that I have, um, gone with it ever since it got buffed, um, yeah, it does still feel like a really fun raid, really good raid too. Uh, really the thing with it is just, um, you know, really making use of the NTD. Um, that's something that I was given advice on early on that you really want to make use of the NTD form for the Banshee here. Um, probably I don't really do it that much in this match here, but... Uh, when you're on NCD, you do get the Heavy Attack Claw, so that is one of the pros to using it, but, um, yeah, I think overall it is a pretty nice, um, you know, small, kind of like a small, like, buff list here for the Banshee. Really don't think this suit needed too much in order to maybe just catch up to the recent 700 scene. Uh, really, again, just some minor things that kind of help it keep up with these suits that we have, uh, nowadays, because... Uh, you know, 700, along with the other higher costs, really just kind of keep evolving with a lot of the releases that we're getting, so... Um, yeah, you know, really just nice overall. And it's very interesting with the reference data here, too, with the uh, Banshee, when we compare it to other 700 raids, where the average win rate was 48.8. Uh, this suit had a 46.5, and even its damage, uh, I feel like was pretty low. Because the average raid type at 700 for the damage dealt was 89,771. 
Uh, this suit only had 85,720, which, for how much damage I feel like the claw can do, again, it does feel pretty low there, but, um, you know, that probably is why they gave the, um, quicker cooldown times for the melee weapons, probably to give the opportunity to, uh, use those weapons a lot more, because again, the raid, uh, the Banshee is a raid suit, so, I'm um, gonna be way more focused on melee here. Uh, just like me going after this um, full armor double Zeta. Uh, unfortunately, gonna get down swung before I could get my claw, but I uh, am gonna survive with a minuscule amount of health. Probably not gonna last too much longer here. Um, try to get a saber down swing on the violent custom last second. Uh, but since again, you know, you have that NTD running, uh, I'm gonna be constantly losing health, and I was already low health to begin with, so wasn't gonna be able to do too much on that um, life there. But um, yeah, not not really a whole lot to say with the Banshee buff buffs. Again, very very small, simplistic list. I think they kind of, but I think they did hit a lot of things that were um, again small, but necessary because uh, when I was playing the Banshee when it came out from the Recycle Ticket store there was a lot of things that uh, really did feel like they held up from the suit's initial release compared to uh, you know probably some other things that uh, come from other raids but uh, Banshee over here did still feel like it was holding on pretty strong on its own for the current state of 700. Um. Yeah, so that's all I really have to say. So I'll just let the last minutes of this match play out. I'll really just kind of do a little bit of commentary here because, oh, well, right now we are in a very close in space being pursued by, whether well, we were being pursued by a Banshee Norn. That Banshee actually does have the uh, Awaken for it, but, um, yeah, I did manage to finish him off with my um, arm cannon there. And really just trying to help our Sinaju just take down what I think might be a, uh, that probably is a enhanced double Zeta. Uh, I doubt that would be the full armor double Zeta that was coming in in these confined spaces here. Uh, yeah, because I think the full armor might be somewhere on this side, or they might be just spawning in if I'm remembering correctly. And there we go, we're going to try to use that NTD here to see if I can uh, maybe get a little extra damage and try to use it for the last few seconds here. Uh, I think something here might actually be the full armor. Yeah, I think that's the full armor. Double Zeta right there. So do try to go in with the claw. Uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, that hyper beam saber with that reach. That is going to um, tag me. But um, yeah, also going to get countered by the full armor double Zeta. Because, ah, uh, well, it seems like it resisted my melee swing. And yeah, going to get finished off by the Bylin custom, unfortunately. But it did look like we had enough points to pull through, so that's going to be the end of the match there. Got a couple uh, good works in the side chat there, and hey, it's going to be a mission completed. And top in individual, and top in damage dealt. Going to send a couple praises around, and we'll see what our full stats are. First place with 8 kills and 3 loss, not too bad with the uh, buffed Banshee here. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the match, so um, yeah. All I would like to say here, again, just pretty simple thing that I wanted to do a little bit of coverage on with the Banshee. Uh, probably, I, I would say, has been my go-to uh, raid for 700. I've been using it a lot more over my usual 700 picks. I think before this it was the Vogule at the, that I used to use the level 2 of, but uh, ever since I got the Banshee, I've been kind of starting to use that a bit more, so... Uh, yeah, really cool to see it get some buffs to help it at the current state of 700. But, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video here. Comment down below what you think about the buffed Banshee. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.